welcome to week two of my creative vlog. My crochet vlog. My crochet vlog. Um, this week I have been working on some pattern development and one of those things that happens when you have a one-year-old and they need naps and also you live in a kind of small house so you store your crochet things in the bedroom of said child means sometimes you have free time when the baby's sleeping but you left all your crochet things in her room so you're like like well I was working on one project but now I've got to work on another because I've anyway what I'm trying to say is I've got three things going on at once <laughs> because that's just how it worked out one day so the first pattern that I'm working on that I'm really excited for but I'm going to show you this and it's going to look like so bland um, and kind of weird and not exciting. But this is the basis of my elephant. Doesn't look like an elephant. I know that. But it's going to be really cute. I can promise that. Um, so right here is where I've got the, the hole for the nose, the trunk. So I'll, I'll make the trunk. It'll come out. It'll go down. Um, probably about yeah around there um, it'll be kind of a long trunk and I'll have the eyes and the ears and I'm really excited like I said doesn't look like much but that's how work in progresses are they really don't look like much in the beginning um, but I'm super excited for this and hopefully fingers crossed by next week I'll be able to show you completed one and you'll see well all this one will be completed and you'll get to see just just why I'm so excited for it because it's gonna be stinking cute um, so that's that and then the other thing I'm working on like none of these really look that exciting at this point because it's the name of the game right so this one um, is a is going to be a panda bear um, this is the the body and so one of the things I like to do when I crochet animals is instead of making the head and making the body two separate things um, like I did on this this one I um, I will crochet I start here at the bottom I crochet up to you know to you know you decrease to usually like five or six stitches at the very top and then instead of tying it off and starting a new ball um, I just begin the head and so I start you know increasing and from there on I build up the head so I've got like two balls that are just crocheted together um, and they do get super wobbly which um, I'll probably be able to showcase here soon um, so you you do have to go through and like this one is it's still a little bit wobbly but um, I'll put the arms here and that will stabilize it as well as having the trunk on here um, but I've already gone through and I've used the um, invisible join and I took like the the second row up and then this the second row from the bottom here and I joined them together so it is more sturdy um, I just like doing that because <sighs> uh, <laughs> I like doing that because it saves me time and um, I don't have to tie off a project and start a new one and it also helps me to um, when you know when it is time to um, to join them so that it is more sturdy when you have a, you know one ball sitting on top of another ball you're deal dealing with like trying to anchor it correctly and making sure like you don't get the head on scalumpus which I have done before with projects um, so I, I just think it's it's a fast and a more efficient way of doing a head and torso combination so <clears throat> that's that and then the third project I'm working on is this and it's still attached to its Bernat ball which all of these are using uh, Bernat blanket balls because I love the texture I just think it's perfect it's so soft um, and super cuddly so anyhow this project is going to be a snowy owl and so I I've got a, a couple rows here you can see this is going to be the body and clearly it's got the feathers so I'll do that same thing where I build the body up 
taper it to, yeah, probably about there, and then I'll build the head on top. So that's, that's where this one is. I'm also really excited for this one. Um, one thing that is kind of special about the, the owl pattern is that I, um, act so my video cut out, and I'm not quite sure why, but I'll finish my statement. Um, I was talking about the, the snowy owl I'm creating and why the feather stitch is unique. And it's because I, um, I made it. It's very similar to the sequin stitch, but what it allows for um, that is different is it allows a continuous chain all the way across the top of what you're making. So it's perfect for amigurumi animals. So anyway, I just wanted to interject that because Going back through my footage, I realized that I didn't capture that. So, anyway, back to the vlog. So, once I'm done writing up the patterns, I will submit it to a, f a group on Ravelry, which I've, I've heard that they're f free and they'll just do um, pattern testing for you. So, they don't charge you to do the pattern testing and they get your pattern for free to, to work on it. Uh, so that's my plan, is to get them, get them designed, get them written up, get them tested, and then hopefully, hopefully sell them. Um, completely new venture. Like I said, something I've never done before. Um, but I'm really excited about it, is because I love crochet, and and it's just been really fun to delve into this side of it. You know, being someone who produces and puts out into the marketplace versus just you know, seeing what other people create. So I'm excited and I, I'm really excited to hopefully show you the elephant when it's done next week. So I will see you then.